Driving from Duluth, Minnesota to Green Bay, Wisconsin today. How efficient and what kind of mileage does this new Tesla Model Y get? Come along for the ride and find out. Welcome back and it's great to have you. Today I'm driving through Northern Illinois, but the other day I took a drive from Duluth, Minnesota to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and that's the trip we're gonna talk about. You all want cold weather numbers, so that's exactly what you're gonna get. Uh, you all need cold weather numbers and you all deserve it, so let's jump straight into it. Conditions of the drive were, the exterior temperature was between 30 degrees Fahrenheit and 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds were relatively low. Topography was relatively flat. Interior temperature of the car, I kept between 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Seat heater I had on at two bars, two out of three. And then the amount of luggage and belongings that I'm carrying with me are probably around 300 pounds, including my body weight, which is about 200. So in total, um, driving around about 500 pounds battery charge and route. I departed Duluth with 89% and arrived in Eau Claire with 18% where I supercharged. I then departed Eau Claire with an 81% charge and arrived in Wausau, Wisconsin with a 36% charge. And then I departed Wausau with a 60% charge and then arrived in Green Bay with a 24% charge. Efficiency numbers. From Duluth to Green Bay was a total of 364 miles, and that includes a 20 mile round trip detour from the highway north of Eau Claire to South Eau Claire, where the supercharger is located, then back up to the highway to head east to Wausau and then on to Green Bay. Total energy consumed for the entire trip was 118 kilowatt hours. Average efficiency for the trip was 324 watt hours per mile. Doing a couple of calculations there means that the mileage per kilowatt hour averaged 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. You can use that to judge efficiency compared to other cars. And then lastly, the 100 mile efficiency rating, that's another way that you can determine efficiency and compare with other vehicles, works out to 38 kilowatt hours per 100 miles of travel. MPGE and battery range. Using the following calculation, 3.1 kilowatt hours per mile times 33.41 kilowatt hours per gallon equivalent of energy in a gallon of gasoline, gets me an MPGE number of 103.5 miles per gallon. Now that is 15% less than the advertised 121 miles per gallon equivalent rating that the EPA gives. Taking those numbers, multiplying 3.1 kilowatt hours per mile times 72 kilowatt hours, which is my assumed battery capacity, which is four kilowatt hours less than 76 kilowatt hours, which I've read online is the total capacity of the battery, gives me a total battery range of 223 miles. That is 32% less than the advertised EPA rating of 326 miles that Tesla lists on their website. And those are the hard numbers for the trip from Duluth, Minnesota to Green Bay, Wisconsin the other day. I think my calculations are right. If you notice any errors, please uh, make a note of it in the comments below. Also, I would love to hear what kind of range you're getting in your battery and what your efficiency numbers look like as well. Best of luck with your electric lifestyle. Best of luck if you're considering buying a Tesla or any electric vehicle. And absolutely congratulations if you've ordered a Tesla, recently received it, or you're still waiting. Until my next video, see you then.